Hello everyone, Mayfair Mass here, and in today's video, we're taking a look at some of the items I picked up from Spalding Spring Model Show 2014. So, without further ado, let's get straight into it. So, first of all, we have a model I didn't actually find at the show, but I collected from the show from a one of the viewers, followers of the channel. Yeah, I'm sure I'll be watching now, but it was nice to catch up with him and see his uh, diorama. So we have a Gary Thompson 7930 conversion um, from a Erto Prestige 8530 uh, Britain's 7930 under the various parts. As you can see, we have the wheels off the 8530. The Erto Prestige cab with the opening door and back window. So you have the very well detailed cab. The Britain's 7930 bonnet, a folding and functioning front linkage. And then to the rear, you have a Wiking linkage modified of a bigger drawbar in the back. But uh, very happy with this, to say the least. It's a uh, smart tractor. I've always wanted a nicely done 7930. Did do one in the past, just a Britain's version. Um, wasn't too bad, but definitely say it's a smart piece. Moving on, we got two sets of Viking Pottinger mowers. Uh, we ended up with two. I was on the hunt for one for a good friend of mine, but we ended up with two, an unbox set, a uh, fully box set. So one will be staying and one will be going. So they're quite hard to come by now, but like I say, one of them will be going to a good friend of mine and the other set will have to go, but We'll let him decide, and if you want to see a review on them, do let me know. Same with the 7.9. We picked up a few Bremer models kits, caught up with James again. Uh, there is also one kit not shown here, but I've already started it. We got a K2 Duo muck spreader, a Bailey Triaxle Grain Soft Silage trailer, which he just released at Spalding, and then I also picked up the Bailey Twin Axle Grain Slash Silas Trail that is reworked, so that is on the bench at the moment. So hopefully we can get that done. Then I'll probably move on to the other Bailey so I can paint them at the same time. Then we'll go on to the K2. So keep an eye out for them two. Probably won't be done anytime soon, but something to uh, keep doing on the night. We have a an original Shuku Case International 1455XL Not a bad find uh, There was a few for sale but the prices varied and surprising this was the cheapest one even on the same stand they had one for sale for nearly £40 more so nice little addition the exhaust and you can see the work there but the exhaust is on the plaque underneath looking at maybe Doing a few modifications to it. If you've got any ideas, do drop a comment and let me know. Or should we leave the original? Uh, seeing as it is an original Shuku first edition 1455XL, but I'm sure we can do a few little bits to it to uh, make it a little bit different. Picked up a few perfect 32 wheels for a project. Did also get a few decals, um, seeing as Peter Hardy has now moved on his decals and parts enterprise onto UD Moore tractor shop if you didn't know that's what he's done uh, so there was a few decals as well but I didn't, didn't bother showing them and then the final piece which I wasn't expecting to get quite lucky to get hold of one so soon we have a Free Oaks Farm Oils Richard Weston 20 ton dump trailer all the 3D printed ones, fresh off the line. So this is what they've been working on. If it's something you're interested in seeing a review on, do let me know. 
they've definitely come a long way since the river trailers a lot of different things about them it's interesting to see the stand and how they actually print them and seen them in a printed form before they've been cleaned and took off the uh, sprues etc like that but uh definitely a nice find lucky to get our hands on one went for the gunmetal grey one as it's a little bit more unique but uh is there anything you want to see a review on or more information do let me know down in the comments if you went to spalding let me know if you had a good time if you thought it was a bit of a better show this year personally i thought it was um what you purchased and what video you'd like to see next guys so don't forget to like comment share subscribe turn notifications so you know exactly when i upload a video but for now thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one